Welcome back guys, I'm Lars and I'm wearing all new shiny armor. Look at this. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, you can see it. Oh, 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 oh. No damage. Yeah. So, um, I've been doing a lot of stuff the last couple of days. And, uh, yeah, we are getting somewhere now. I have a bed. Like, an, a normal bed, not the sleeping bag thing. But, um, yeah, and uh, my office is starting to get done here. We have some stuff down there we'll have to look at very soon. And, of course, we have basically unlimited amounts of ender pearls. And we are going to look at that in a second, but there, there is this thing. So, the dark boots, they're basically dark steel made like normal things, and then you add... Uh, you can see they're empowered, right? Which basically just means that you added some capacitors and stuff to them in an anvil. And I'm, I kind of like that, that you can upgrade them in the anvil. Like, you know, <laughs> like it was actually intended. So you have this. This is the haste 2 thing. Uh, so you can add them to uh, the boots, I think. Yeah. But these are just haste 2 because we have the... Uh, mob essence coming into an auto enchanter and then just enchanting all the books into this uh, what's it called filing cabinet yeah so you have like all the things uh, you can see my armor here i have protection four and a f level five protection on this thing i'm basically I i'm going to show you guys what happens when i fight a whole lot of endermen later on and you know, aqua in affinity and basically all the things here and on these guys we have fire protection, which means I can just stand in fire. It doesn't matter. It's it's really cool. But um yeah, so I wanna Yeah, I wanna combine these two guys into a haste three book because I really, really want to run fast. Uh I only have one level though. Well we'll just grab some bottles of enchanting, which you can make by basically using the same trick here with the auto enchanter and just using the bottles instead and you get like oh like like <laughs> just need a couple of levels sweet 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 just three levels right yeah and then we need 10 levels to get this on the boots since we already have the fire protection on them and then we'll really be running around here just this thing oh yeah <laughs> It's just so easy, it's so convenient. And I, yeah, I'm going to do something with this soon. Don't worry. Haste three. I'm pretty, pretty sure this will work. We'll see though. Uh, is it faster? It might be faster. It's, it seems pretty fast, but I don't know if it works on these things here. Yeah, um, I think we are actually quite fast right now. Yeah, it seems decent enough. Of course, this is even quicker, but it works. Okay, so this is the fluid central. We pump all the oil we get into this thing, oh, which is not much. I guess the oil wells just ran dry. Uh, I've been changing them around. We might actually try to make like bio type fuel soon instead. Just set up a huge ass couple of farms somewhere and just pump everything into this thing and through the refinery. Make ethanol, which still works as a fuel. But did I do this wrong? No. Um, we have like 2,200 buckets of uh, fuel here and then we still have like 30k, no more in the actual thing there. We're using Tesseracts because we have all the Ender Pearls, so we can make all the Tesseracts for everything. Basically, I'm setting up sort of the same system that we had with the power. So this is like the fluid oil thing. This just takes in the um, um, fluids and there's an energy thing on the same channel over there. And then of course, out in the oil fields, it's just a pump, it's this one, and a spot loader on the top to keep it from uh, unloading, and that's it. Infinite fuel. And this as well is just fluid, oil, and only receiving energy. That's it. I could have connected these guys, but hey, we, we have so many of these guys. I could just go make 10. 
and uh, yeah. I set up an endothermic pump as well. I, I didn't really need to have any lava around, but having 4,000 of buckets, 1,000 buckets of lava is probably better than having none, I would assume. Okay, let's go in here. And yeah, we have six of these 16 bucket thingies here. So, uh, and it's just all full. <laughs> We have a decent amount of steam and everything. It seems to be going great. We, our fuel situation uh, or like our power situation seem to have stabilized. And of course that's great. But where do we get all this ender pearls and all that goody stuff from? Well, I'm gonna show you. All right, and here in the end, there is now a thing out here. I called it the ender grinder because well, it's endermen and it's grinding them. You can see how this works. It's fairly simple. There's a 5x5 five five field in front of here that the grinder will just murder everything that comes into it, right? Uh, just wait. It's slow though, so uh, it's fine, but it's basically infinite. Yeah, it's dead. So, this is very cool. Oh, I just gotta be careful here. These are the fans from Open Blocks. So, if I do this, and I'm not touching anything, I'm just getting pushed towards this thing. It's kinda cool. Whenever I go without outside the 5x5, five five, which is basically here, here, right? There, that's the 5x5, five five, that's the active area for the grinder. If I go here, I'm fine. If I go here, I push to like the edge of the block here. If I go here, I get pushed right up here to the edge of this thing so just inside the thing and we can go and we have to remove these of course if we want the bastards to spawn basically this is a very small 5x5 five five grinding system with a bigger spawning pad because of this and this can be extended that is the cool thing i can make like 10 floors of this stuff and just push them through a hole into the middle here it'll work like a pretty decent grinder but i'd probably have to add a couple more of these guys and yeah, this is basically where I'm ha hanging out when I'm just hanging out here. And um, you can see the bastards just spawn and do their thing. Oh yeah, look at that. They're falling. It's actually not that slow, but it's it seems to just scan through the area. So the more of them the, there are, the faster it gets. Uh, up to a point, of course. So that was it. it killed a bunch more. It sent the liquid liquid mob essence stuff into the uh, tank we saw, and then sends all the ender pearls into the ME system. Yeah, you can see these guys clustering together. These guys over there just spawned at the edge, and they get pulled in. And I'm just gonna turn on the hovering thing here. And look at this. Yeah, there they go. Oh, I, I think I looked at one. He's trying to get to me, look at this. He's actually trying to teleport over here. Well, if he's making that much of a fuss, let's just go fight him. Okay. Look at my health. I'm getting hit left and right. It doesn't really matter. That's two hits. I actually tanked out a ton of uh, wither skeletons earlier today. Just went in there, just no protection, no nothing, just ran in there and hit him. And it, it worked. This is, uh, this is just crazy. Okay, guys. Um, I actually had... Uh, I actually recorded like 18 more minutes of footage. Uh, and I deleted it because I made this thing. And it's, it's sort of cool, but... And it has one of those powered spawners. It is powered independently, so there's no junk here. Well, this thing, the grinder, is powered by a Tesseract, but... And, th and that is fine, that is fine. Uh, what the hell is going on down there? And, and, and this is cool enough, I guess. And it spawns Blaze, and it ge generates the... Uh, the um, Oh, are we all out on here? Yeah. Yeah, it generates the um, juice here for the uh, the mob essence. How are we out mob essence? Did I really use that much over here? 
Yeah, because I've set up like the auto crafting and such. Uh, yeah, we actually used it all. We still have one book to enchant, but wow, wow. Okay, yes, yeah, so we. Well, that's bad. So we have a ton of stuff here. Wow. Feather falling. Pain of hearts of pods. Whoa. <laughs> Efficiency 4, wow, we can make a bunch of efficiency 5 thing, not that we really care, but it was cool. It's cool kind of just having all of these. I'm breaking, just in case we need to make something, like the repair 2 would be kind of cool to have on a pick. I might actually make a uh, silk touch guy that's just, you know, <laughs> just simple to deal with, really. That's the thing. It's just simple, just put the silk touch thing, we have a couple of them on a pick, so we can go get some stuff. And there, there is actually some stuff I need, like redstone. I think uh, probably the nether redstone ore would be the easiest one, because you can get, I think you can get cinnabar from that, which makes it easier to get some shining ingots, which again you need for the anterium, which you need for the tesseracts, and we are going to need a lot of them. But that is uh, something we'll have to do later on. I'll probably just do that off camera. It's <laughs> crafting a pick, diamond pick, yeah, that's not that exciting. So, uh, we have four test racks, four grinders, an auto spawner, and uh, some blocks here, and a ton of item ducts. How, how did I make that many? That doesn't make sense. Probably need like a stack. We also have the flux plated fluid ducts, which means that we can transfer flux around. And that's probably going to be pretty convenient seeing as we are going to have a auto spawner which needs both power and the mob essence. We need to seed the thing with some mob essence as well. Yeah. And uh, I went ahead and got us a uh, the large, we can see here actually, the safari net, right? Yeah, and I'm almost able to write. We have the safari net with the I'll leave it here. With the pink slime, the large version, if you kill that with the grinder, four or up to four of the medium ones will spawn. You kill kill those, the small ones will spawn, and you get mob essence from each of them. So you can gain a lot of mob essence pretty quickly. Which is what we are going to do now. So yeah, this is it. I added some asphalt out here just to expand this area. So this will be sector Let's see, this is one, two, yeah. So this is sector seven. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hmm. so the grinders will have to be like here, but they only cover a five by five area. So these corners will not work. We might end up just putting some fans there. The fans work, they are nice. You can put the grinder like this and it will still kill whatever is in front of it. So uh, this should work out just fine. So these are combined fluid and uh, the um, hmm. yeah, th they are combined fluid and uh, what's McCall say? Come on, tell me now. Yeah, uh, flux ducts. So they should be pretty powerful. And of course, I want to test this. Just do a sort of manual test. Uh, so let's just get that going. Is it done here? It's almost set up. Let's see. So we'll have to, of course, put the items somewhere, but I I have an idea for that as well. So that should be easy enough. Oh, there's my thing. Yep. And let's see, like so. And a grinder. We have a grinder, and big surprise, we do have a grinder. Now, the items we'll just uh, ignore for now, but we'll, we are going to pipe them through the floor here and up to the test rack. And we'll have a separate test rack system for this. One thing for all of this, and then one, uh, yeah. And I think we could do, like, send and receive on the test rack here on the fluid, and just receive power and spit out items. We'll spit out, have a test rack that spits out items and a send receive thing on the tank over there. I think it should work. We'll see in a second. If not, we'll just have to try to compensate for that. But uh, let's see, I'm gonna put a piece of glass here, piece of glass here, piece of glass here. 
and then we of course need to have a test rack to kind of fill this up and i think we are just going to do oh hello well we could actually pipe around here it's probably easier to deal with like that like so just uh of course i'm going to have to set up a oh uh, whatever uh set up a more permanent thing here uh a path for this but i i think it's stupid just you know trying to finish this thing without actually having it set up so we'll make a we'll call it an item thing here at uh, no uh, i think we are going to set up a new thing so this is the 300 series that's pure energy we are going to set up the 400 series for uh farms and of course i'm going to change move the tree farm and all that stuff uh, those are basically the multi-purpose stuff so this is uh, slime grinder thank you and you are going to send receive that stuff you're going to receive energy and that is it oh yeah down there then we have to have a uh, thing for the power and one for this thing items we are not going to deal with just yet but of course this thing is empty and that's the problem right now we need to sort of see this thing but first oh we don't have any normal fluid ducts okay i'll just use one of these guys we can fix that later this is going to go to the farm and this is only going to send fluids and not really do anything else that should be good of course we need a servo like so we just use the slow one and this of course is not gonna send anything just yet we'll have to go up here to see is this thing actually working yeah it seems to be working Ooh. oh you get stuck up there i should probably cover those up with the facade facade f whatever the cover thing do we even have any of them yeah we have some there painted wrong but it's fine just uh, go through here murder you it's not like you could actually hurt me and just go up here and say whoop whoop and whoop and that should be it I i'm going to change of course the look of that thing but that should have generated just some stuff here yeah so we have uh, some stuff that's good just what we wanted right <laughs> some stuff and go here we're going to just connect you to some energy we'll just connect you over here for now just so we have you close by there should be power in these things as far as i know and you are going to only send energy and do nothing else so slime grinder yes and that should activate this thing i think Oh, oh, of course, we need the uh, safari net as well. No, not sad, safari. Damn it. I'm not having a lot of luck trying to write that stuff. Like this will put you in here. And now you should start. Yeah, your idle timer is taking down. That is working. We have covered up all the holes here, right? Yeah. So you're doing your thing, you're doing your work, and there you are. There you you were killed, but Okay. Why are you not not getting murdered like properly? Oh, and we have to cover that up as well. Why no small guys? Do I have to do the exact copy? Oh, I don't want the exact copy, I think. I think I want just anything, because then you get the large ones that will actually break down into the small ones. Yeah, items are getting just spit out. That's fine. Uh, we'll deal with that later. So are we going to get the big ones like this? At least the medium ones. I think we are running a net profit on this, no matter what, because they spawn more than one, I think. Is this just one spawn? Okay, yeah, that, this is just one spawn, so they are actually using a lot of this. 
the large ones should be able to spawn with the small ones intact. So I I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. You are going to now die and then not spawn the small ones. That is sorta annoying. So I, I really don't know if this is going to work. I'm just going to cover this up temporarily. And we're going to use, instead of the fans, well the fans are there, but we are going to use the uh, slime's attraction to me because I'm so hot. Uh, we are going to use those to our advantage here. Oh, not the blue slimes please. We are going to use the pink slimes, not spawning exact copies because we don't really care. No, wait, yeah, we are, of course, we are going to do the exact copies and... Okay, we'll uh, go get the other one. I thought I had the big one there. Okay, uh, whatever. Like this, this is the enlarged one. We'll do... Oh, come on. Like this, yes, spawn exact copy and... This should separate them, I think. Basically because only the big ones and the medium ones jump high enough to... Oh, did I use the un un unconfigured unconf one? What? Didn't I have the other one on me? Why do I have the non-configured one on me? No, this is the right one. Oh, there might be lag, might be lag. I've seen that happen before. So, do this and... You are going to do this. Oh, yeah, right. The redstone control stuff. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I think we'll just uh, quickly sleep to get the day because then we get more mob essence. Oh, we got one. Damn it. Okay, so we are going to see what happens here. Yeah, these guys died. I don't know if they'll just filter through. Yeah, look at this. This works. Okay, let's turn this bastard off before this uh, before we get infested here. Yes, we have to check that the uh, fans are doing their job. Let's just... They're not attracted to me anymore. They're jumping around. Oh, he gets stuck in that corner, so we might have to push him back out from there. Uh, okay, so that's a problem. Okay, spawn one more big guy for me, please, and we'll see. We might have uh, affected that, uh, that thing. Okay, um... Is it G? Yeah. So why are you not spawning any more guys here? You should have all the power and such you need. You shouldn't be able to... You shouldn't be... Uh, having to babysit this thing. No, there's not any essence here. I didn't put a redstone thing on this, no. And you are... Do that correctly. We might have to j oh, just uh, boost the system again because we did not collect enough for a little while there. Come on, do your thing. Do your thing. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Well, there is some stuff down here. No, just looked like it. Oh, there it goes. That was probably from that thing. It might have been this thing as well. Oh, I think the slime in the corner actually got pushed back. So it does happen. Now there's a thing there. They don't care about me, I think. We could prove that by hanging out on this side. course now they're not going to do their thing I think this grinder should supply enough for this to work but uh, I'm just going to let this thing run for uh, a while just go get myself a cup of coffee and see what actually happens when it has run for a while but in the end I uh, ended up just redoing the whole thing Oh, and I added this. This is a prototype lava-based generator, the magmatic engines or dynamos. 
We have a ton of lava, we might as well use it, right? So uh, this is the prototype reactor 7, which will be placed this, this uh, out here. So that's probably something I'm going to just move it over here-ish in not too long. But yes, um, I did do some cool stuff as well. We have the RF tools screens here. I moved the uh, my own little tools out here, so we have all the basics available. Did I put anything in here? No. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we have uh, not a lot of power, but I just switched over the main thing there. We can have a look at the new setup. Again, I know I was working on the mob generator, but I never got it working properly. So I did something else with it. So we have a resonant energy sh cell here. It's at 31 million um, RF right now, so that's good. The resonant thing here, I did not add a resonant thing here yet, but uh, I have to revise some of this as well. Probably move it to somewhere where it's basically, we have more space and we can just lay it out better, but that works for now. You can see we are doing well on the mob essence. We have filled almost a quarter of a tank that should mean that we are getting close to one million million yes one million of these guys yeah so that's almost a thousand buckets of stuff and uh, just to make a normal mob it's 150 something so i set this up instead because yeah first of all I added another spawner up to the powered spawner setup and added a dedicated thing here that pulls 3000 uh, RF per tick, which is pretty good actually. And these guys are still on the Ender Grinder channel, but I'll probably set up something for them as well. But for now, this works out great. Uh, so, this is basically the goal of trying to get a lot of RF. Well, now we have the cooked meat ingots, that's good. What I'm going to do here is, right now we have the slaughterhouse because I needed some stuff, but I think I'm just going to set up a grinder here instead. Uh, we have the sewage thing, which will feed any and all junk back into uh, the system. That's good. We can turn this thing on and off, so let's just turn it on. And you can see, cows, yes, cows making pink slime and a lot of meat like a lot yes we have 89 here now and some i just cooked we could just order more cooked stuff we get some meat nuggets as well just for a snack this is this stuff is a meal the nuggets are snacks yeah as you can see that these guys are being pushed back here it's not perfect but this works fairly well uh, so we can just do this, turn it back off. Everything should shut down. It should kill the last couple with the internal uh, power that's been stored as long as you haven't run it for too long. So, uh, yeah, there it is. And this, this works, this works. Of course, I am going to set up so we can switch this over to a grinder as well, or I might make a separate grinder thing because I sort of want to capture a wither <laughs> and encase like a really really encase a spawner um, for wither guys and just basically make a place where we can fight those busters but I, because I, I think I can take one pretty easily right now uh, the withering effect doesn't even really affect me that badly but yeah so the goals for today are like, we did reach our goals. We have a decent amount of that liquid stuff. We didn't generate it as we hoped to, but uh, th this thing works. I'll probably figure something out. Maybe I'll move this thing uh, over to like a district here. Uh, I'm thinking like the sector seven here will be just the mob grinding and all that type of stuff on the second level. So I'll move that, but for now it works where it is and uh, yeah. Come on. If they get they get stuck in these corners and then they just don't move, so I'll probably have to add some fans and stuff. 
maybe something to force the uh, these guys to actually go down as well because I have seen them get stuck up here but that they do descend at some point problem with these spawners they actually have like proximity checking for the mobs of course not for the player but still it's uh, it's kind of annoying it's basically a uh, I don't know, it, it's kind of like a, a normal vanilla spawner without the player range uh, restrictions as you'll see in a second here. Yeah, something died. Can actually just watch it from down here. Yeah, something else spawned and died. Come on, prove me right. Come on. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah, there you can see. And we are way way too far away for a vanilla spawner to actually do its thing so yeah this this works just great and uh i think we'll just leave it at that so uh i hope you enjoyed this episode even though yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode even though it got a bit weird i uh, had to re-record a lot of the stuff because i spent way too much time on all this junk but in the end it worked out and uh yeah I hope you will join me in the next episode.